Your patience is rewarded. Tonight, two planeswalkers have been summoned to fight to the death. Both planeswalkers walk into the arena, but only one leaves with their sparks still ignited. The planeswalkers have chosen a commander to represent them and ensure their ability to leave through the blind eternities. Who will amass the greatest army and devastate the competition? Find out on Commander Duel! Wooberg plays an Evolving Wilds, putting a Plains into play tapped. Tyler plays a Murmuring Bosk tapped and passes the turn. Wooberg plays a Forest and passes the turn. Tyler plays an Orzhov Guildgate coming in tapped and also passes. Wooberg plays an Island and ends his turn. Tyler plays Temple of Plenty, scrying one and keeping the card on top. He taps for one black mana and casts Hateful Idol on. Wooberg plays a Forest, then taps three to cast Oblivion Ring, targeting Hateful Idol on. The spell resolves and Wooberg passes the turn. Tyler plays a Rogue's Passage as land for turn, then casts Leyline Prowler, passing the turn after that. Wooberg misses a land drop, with no further actions he passes. Tyler untaps, and casts Phantom Nantuko. He then casts Rancor, and attaches it to the Phantom Nantuko. Tyler swings with Leyline Prowler. With no blocks, Wooberg takes 2 damage, and Tyler gains 2 life. Wooberg taps for 3 mana to cast Fierce Empath. He searches his library for Soul of the Harvest, revealing it and putting it into his hand. He still misses a land drop and passes the turn over to Tyler. Tyler untaps. and casts Buried Alive. Buried Alive puts Vampire Nighthawk, Zetalpa, and Battering Crassus into Tyler's graveyard. Tyler moves to combat and swings with Leyline Prowler. Wooberg takes another 2 damage and Tyler gains another 2 life. Wooberg hits an island off the top and puts it into play. He then taps out to cast his commander, Rune of the Hidden Realm. He moves to end step, which Tyler uses to tap Phantom Nantuko to add another plus one plus one counter. He then untaps for his turn. Tyler casts his commander, Cathril. Tyler decides to put all keyword counters and plus one plus one counters on Cathril. Cathril now has Trample, Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Indestructible, Death Touch, and Lifelink. He adds the seven plus one plus one counters, making Cathril a 10-10. Wooberg untaps and starts digging for an answer. He casts Karuga the Macro Sage and draws four cards. He then taps a Plains and casts Cloud Shift targeting Karuga in order to dig deeper into the deck. Karuga blinks back into play and Wooberg draws an additional four cards. He moves the end step, discarding Kiora, Thrag Tusk, Brutalizer Exarch, Disdainful Stroke, A Forest, and A Day of Judgment. Tyler again takes an action on end step, adding a counter onto Phantom Nantuko. During his main phase, Tyler attempts to cast Angelic Destiny onto Leyline Prowler. In response, Wooberg casts Fierce Guardianship to counter it. He's able to cast the counter without paying the mana cost, as he currently controls his commander. 
Tyler moves to combat and swings with Cathril. Wooberg can't block any flying, and because Cathril has double strike and lifelink, Tyler gains 20 life, and Wooberg takes 20 commander damage. Wooberg untaps and plays an island. He then casts Reflector Mage, targeting Cathril. Cathril will return to Tyler's hand, and Tyler won't be able to cast it on his next turn. He then casts Moldrifter for the Evoke cost, allowing him to draw two cards, and now must sacrifice the Moldrifter. Tyler adds an additional counter to Phantom Nantuko. Tyler untaps and casts Gift of Orzova onto Phantom Nantuko. He moves to combat and swings with the newly enchanted creature. Wooberg still has nothing to block flying, so he takes 8 damage and Tyler gains another 8. The score is 8 life to 72, and Tyler is looking extremely healthy. Wooberg taps too, and activates Rune's ability targeting Reflector Mage. He taps an additional 4 mana to cast Archaeomancer. Archaeomancer's Enter the Battlefield trigger allows Wooberg to return Cloud Shift to his hand. He casts Cloud Shift targeting Karuga. Karuga blinks back into play, and Wooberg now draws 5 cards. He plays a Slesnia Sanctuary, bouncing a basic land to his hand. Wooberg moves to end step, causing Reflector Mage to re-enter the battlefield. The trigger targets Phantom Nantuko, sending the creature back to Tyler's hand, where he will be unable to cast it for a turn. On end step, Wooberg discards three lands and Soul of the Harvest. Tyler casts Eladomri's Call, revealing Questing Beast and putting it into his hand. Tyler untaps and casts Questing Beast. Next, he casts Rancor, attaching it to the Questing Beast. Tyler moves to combat and swings. Wooberg blocks with Karuga, causing the creatures to trade, but two damage trampling over thanks to Rancor. Wooberg casts Watcher of Tomorrow. He puts one card under Watcher from the Hideaway ability and puts three cards on the bottom of his library. He then plays a Command Tower as his land for turn. He taps two mana to cast Swiftfoot Boots, and equips them to rune. Finally, he pays 4 to cast Solemn Simulacrum, putting a Plains into play tapped. He swings with rune, Tyler takes 4 commander damage, and Wooberg passes the turn. Tyler casts Spirit Mantle, enchanting Leyline Prowler with plus one plus one and protection from creatures. He taps Murmuring Boss, causing him to lose a life, and taps the rest of his mana to cast Obzan Charm. Tyler puts two plus one plus one counters on Leyline Prowler. He moves to combat and swings with Leyline Prowler. Wooberg is forced to take five, and Tyler gains five more life. Wooberg plays a forest. He activates Rune to temporarily exile Reflector Mage. He taps 5 mana to cast Time Wipe, targeting Rune to be returned to his hand. The spell resolves, and the board is wiped. Wooberg gets the Hideaway card to his hand, then draws a card for Solemn Simulacrum dying. He pays 3 mana to put Propaganda on the battlefield. At end of turn, Reflector Mage re-enters the battlefield. Wooberg ends his turn. Tyler recasts Cathril for his turn, then passes. Wooberg casts Dryonic Resonator.
He taps 9 mana to cast Agent of Treachery and pay the activation cost of Stryonic Resonator. This copies the Enter the Battlefield effect. He gains control of Cathrol and Rogue's Passage. Moving to combat, Wooberg swings Reflector Mage for 2 damage. Sensing victory, he passes the turn. Tyler casts Phantom Nantuko and enchants it with Eternal Thirst before passing the turn. Wooberg plays a Plains, he casts Rune and equips it with Swiftfoot Boots to give it haste. He activates Rune's ability targeting Agent of Treachery. Wooberg then casts Venser Shaper Savant, returning Phantom Nantuko to Tyler's hand. He swings with Cathrol for 10 double strike. On end step, Agent of Treachery returns, allowing Wooberg to steal another land. Tyler top decks another land and concedes the game. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. If you want to see any of the decks that we play today, go ahead and look in the description as we have the deck list below for you. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm and gets us out to more Magic the Gathering fans. Please post in the comments who your favorite commanders are and maybe they'll be making an appearance in the next video. Until next time, thank you for watching.